Hey guys, uh, welcome to your uh, love reading. Uh, so this is a new love reading for Leo. You're going to apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for May 2022. So these are the Leo people that are currently dealing with someone uh, that's new. Either you're talking to someone new, dating someone new, started a relationship with someone new. Uh, so we're going to take a look at your over energies regarding love and, and regarding this uh, new person that you're, you've been dealing with here. And uh, we will take a look at the new person. Um, see what their over energies are like, how they're feeling about you, um, long-term intentions, okay? So this could be someone that, you know, like I said, could be someone that you're currently dealing with or it could be someone that's coming towards you in the future. So just apply this to your own unique situation, okay? Uh, you can switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Uh, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message uh, didn't resonate, take a look at it. Take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the uh, subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video. Um, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Leo people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading that's tailored to your own unique situations, to your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Okay, so um, let's see what we have for you here, Leo. Over energies for Leo regarding love and a new person or new love that um, Leo is connecting with here. Over energies for Leo regarding love, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for May 2022. All right. Wow, we have the tower here. Aries energy, Scorpio energy. Seems like whatever is happening here is unexpected. Eight of Pentacles. Could be dealing with an Aries here, Scorpio. You might have those energies in your chart also. A Four of Pentacles and a Two of Cups. Seems like, I don't know. It seems like there's a situation here where, you know, I feel like you're working really hard to build a solid foundation with this individual or that, you know, this person that you're meeting or someone that you're dealing with here right now, uh, this is a connection that you really hold dear to your heart, okay? Let's see what else we have here. Seems like you're, you guys are dealing with the soulmate with the two of cups here. We have the high priestess, Cancer Pisces energy, and the hermit, Virgo energy. So, you know, right now, I feel like you guys are really connected with your intuition here, doing a lot of introspecting and self-reflecting regarding this, this connection, okay? Um, we'll get some more uh, uh, clarity here about, about what's going on with this tower. Seems like something might have unexpectedly happened or that you might have, someone here might have unexpectedly caught feelings or something like that. Um, or something, you know, something along those lines. Um, with the High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces energy, the Hermit, Virgo energy. Tell me about this tower here. Why is this tower here? Why is this tower here? Okay, we have the Five of Pentacles here. Um, so, Leo, you could have experienced an unexpected loss here. regarding a love. Now this loss could be a death or that this person left you. So just apply this to your own unique situation. This isn't a past position, by the way. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles here. Could be a situation, uh, Leo, that you know someone here could have possibly left you or someone here could have passed on you. And you know, I feel like, you know, uh, you could be wondering if you're uh, ready to move on to someone new. You could be dealing with someone new that you have a strong connection here with that you felt that was unexpected. But, you know, this maybe this past relationship is some like uh, a relationship that you still hold close to your heart. OK, eight of pentacles. We have the Ace of Cups. Okay, so what's happening here is that I feel like, you know, you found new love, okay? So, you know, if someone here passed on you, um, I maybe you're not quite sure if you're ready to move on to someone new, but this is someone that you have a really deep connection here with, okay? Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. 
Yeah, you know, someone uh, that you were dealing with in the past, like I said, could have unexpectedly passed on you, okay? So, um, doesn't have to be, like I said, just apply this to your own unique situation since this is just a general reading. We have the Three of Cups here, okay? Two of Cups and the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Whoever this person is, I feel like you already met this person. This is someone that you're out there having a good time with, you know, movie night, date nights, okay? This is someone who's very stable. You know, this is someone here who's very loyal. This is someone here who's very reliable. Um, but I, I, I do feel like there is, you know, there there's still um, someone that you're thinking of that you lost that's in the back of your mind, okay? Uh, could be a situation that you feel guilty about moving on or something like that, you know? Uh, but uh, keep in mind, you know, the person that has passed, you know, this person wants you to move on and wants you to enjoy your life and wants you to be happy, okay? Um, so we have the High Priestess and the world, the Hermit, and the Eight of Cups here. Whoever this person is, I feel like you're really connected to this past person still. Because I feel like you see this person maybe in, um, in, in, you know, during your meditation or something like that. You know, in your sleep or something like that. You know, um, you know, I feel like you're talking to this person a lot. More so in your 5D, but I, perhaps you might feel this person in around you all the time. Okay? There is definitely new love in your life. But whoever this person that has passed, this is an individual that is definitely guiding you to this new love here too, I feel. Um, let's see. Um, tell me about this new person, this new love that um, Leo is dealing with here. What is this person's current overall energies? What is this person's current true feelings and intentions towards Leo? Their long-term intentions here with Leo for May 2022. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Leo. All right, let's get one more here. Just one more. All right. We have the Four of Cups. We have the Ten of Swords, okay. And the Six of Cups. Mm. We have the Fool, Aries Energy. Also could be Aquarius too. We have the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And then the Nine of Pentacles here, Virgo Energy, Pre-Empress Energy. I, I really feel like, Leo, you might be looking back at this past person. I feel like this is more so your energy here. But I feel like this past person, if this person has passed, I feel like this person is allowing you to move on to someone new. Perhaps to this pre-empress here. Now, I feel like what's going to happen here is that you're going to take it really slow with this individual because with that page of cups, you know, you're, you know, when I see pages, this is a indication that someone here just wants to be friends with someone. Okay. Tell me about the four of cups. Yeah. I feel like someone here feels guilty for moving on. Okay. Uh, tell me about the four of cups. Seven of cups. Yeah. I feel like someone here is fantasizing about someone that they've lost. Okay, uh, uh, Ten of Swords. Yeah, we have the Ten of Cups here. Yeah, so um, not quite sure how long this has happened, um, uh, how long ago this was, but I feel like this is still very fresh in your head or in your mind. So, you know, like I said, if you just met someone new, I feel like you unexpectedly really caught feelings for this individual here. Tell me about the Six of Cups. You know, whoever this new person is, I do feel like this person does want uh, commitment and marriage here to you, for uh, with you. But I feel like, you know, I feel like in a way, with the Hierophant and the Six of Cups, I feel like you still have loyalty to someone that you've lost, okay? And that's why you feel guilty about moving on. Tell me about the Fool here, Taurus energy with the Hierophant. We have the Ace of Swords here. Okay, hold on one sec. Tell me about the Page of Cups. Okay, we have the moon, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Tell me about the nine of pentacles. And judgment here, Sagittarius energy, Scorpio energy. 
you know, um, I, I, if, I feel like, you know, if you move towards this person or that you accept this new person in your life, okay, um, I do feel like, you know, I feel like you're gonna keep your life under wraps for a little bit. I feel like you wouldn't, I feel like you, you're not really gonna be open to this right now uh, because I feel like you're still, I don't know, I feel like there's a, like, there's something about, you know, searching for the meaning of life right now or something like that or trying to understand it or that you're trying to seek answers here, okay? And I feel like a lot of the answers will come towards you, uh, right, you know, right in front of you because I feel like your guides, your ancestors, even if uh, for those of you guys that had, had someone here who passed on you, someone that you cared about and love, uh, this person is going to be showing you signs here because, like I said, I feel like you're uh, you're seeing this person in your dreams and stuff like that, having really vivid dreams about this uh, person, you know, speaking to them, touching them and stuff like that, yeah? So, yeah, so I, I just feel like, you know, there is some sort, sort of guilt about moving on because, you know, like I said, you, you still have loyalty to this person that has passed, okay? So the Moon, Cancer, Pisces energy, Judgment, Sagittarius energy, Scorpio energy. All right, so Leo, hope this was helpful. Hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.